Welcome to another video. This week I'm going to show you some seven inches that I've had delivered recently. These have come in uh, over the course of the last um, two or three weeks. And starting a new feature, we will look at the bootleg of the week, which is Depeche Mode Dodger Stadium 1990, which I got delivered uh, this week also, uh, last week actually. So um, I'm going to start with uh, Never Let Me Down Again. Uh, this is a uh, American promo, and you can see I've written cracked on here. This um, was a bit of a disappointment. It happens sometimes. So this is a Discogs purchase, and uh, the seller, there was no damage to the packaging. The seller had overlooked the fact that there is a very, uh, well, I think, obvious crack and it might not come up on the camera where are we i think i might have some photos i can i can put on at this point i'll show you anyway there's what looks like an airline uh scratch there but when you turn it over the same airline scratches on the other side too uh basically it's a a crack all the way through i'm not going to crack it anymore so this is a placeholder rather than anything else uh, the interesting thing about this is it's a uh, Megan promo and it says promotion, not for real sale on it. And it has never let me down again on both sides. Um, this sleeve is an American sleeve that says it has pleasure little treasure on side too, but that's not actually the fact. So that's uh, the placeholder for now until I can find another one. Moving on, but staying in the States, we have got Question of Lust, seven inch, one of my favorite um, covers. I had this um, stuck to a diary when I was like, God knows when, how old would I be, 15, probably something like that. So this has got uh, Question of Lust on it and on side two, Christmas Island. Uh, there's a bit of damage to the sleeve across the top here. It's obviously got stuck to one of those uh, um, seven inch covers with the glue on unfortunately this itself is good pretty standard sire yellow label blue logo like all the sire records back in the day you know all the madonna seven inches look very similar like this too so i think the interesting thing is the design of the sleeves in the states they have this kind of lip to them which actually is quite useful to get the the discs uh, in and out but I guess um, as time goes on, it can get quite damaged. What else do we have? Oh, yeah. So uh, Behind the Wheel and uh, Strange Love. This is on back-to-back uh, -back hits. This is a Sire uh, release after these two singles came out. And uh, I think it matches up with um, a tape that I've got. I'll just quickly grab the tape so it's cut here and I'll come back. Yeah, so here's the tape equivalent. Back to back tracks, uh, strange with behind the wheel. This is a cardboard slide out case. Uh, back tracks. So, yeah, this is the seven inch version. Uh, I don't know if it actually uh, had a sleeve on it originally. But there we go, strange love and behind the wheel. That was released in 1989. I assume around the same sort of time as uh, the 101 album. And then I uh, picked up a copy of uh, Loving Itself too. And uh, if you recognize that logo, if you've been watching my videos, you probably will by now. That's the Vogue logo so that means it's come from France and it's got the standard B-side balls on it so let's look at the label so it's kind of a, a card rather than paper sleeve yeah the label's not much to write home again it's got the walking man logo on it it's black and white the label is pretty standard for this era in France to have these uh, black labels with kind of silvery text on And there's a little uh, cutaway 
there to help get the disc out, which you don't see on the, the UK ones, I don't think. And this one arrived uh, today. In fact, this is a Spanish promo, a single promotion, promotional. Um, so obviously you can tell by the later logo that it's a later record. And this is I Feel You. Um, so when did this come out as a promo in Spain? 1993 on Sunny Records. Interesting label with stamps on. So tw it says 22nd of February 1993 is stamped on there. And it's got an official kind of uh, record or promo company label on there. Um, it's got I Feel You on the A side and nothing at all on the b-side it is single-sided so that's nice i don't have many promo seven inches uh, and then finally in the seven inches uh, behind the wheel remix seven inch uh, if you saw this um at a record fair there are some clues on the back to say it's not the standard uh, it's got this um, little Bong 46015. I don't think they release that many singles um, on there. And there is a distribution and marketing, marketing in disc, which are kind of give, give away that it's not a UK release. And this is from uh, Belgium, it was released in 1987. Let's have a look. Is there anything? Yeah, again, uh, um, you see. The white label with black text quite a lot from Belgium and, and uh, Scandinavia as well, so it can be a bit confusing. Um, yeah, so it's got Route 66 on the B side and behind the wheel on the A side. And it's the, um, the kind of seven inch remix. Oh, behind the wheel. So that's the seven inches. Quick video today. Put that there. And then the bootleg of the week is. Stadium 1990. This is a good package. It's um, a bootleg based on live radio broadcast and it sounds according to that. So the sound quality is, is okay for an FM broadcast um, back in 1990, but obviously it's not audio file quality. The press is good, it's quite quiet, but the mastering and the source is. Uh, a little bit rough but certainly not the the worst bootleg i've ever had it's actually up there with one of the best especially because of the packaging i think is great um there's always some typos uh this one uh yeah this one <laughs> has got strange love with a space uh, between it this is almost a complete set of um the gig at dodger stadium in 1990 um I'm just reading off this because it's missing Black Celebration, which is a shame because I love Black Celebration and more about Black Celebration albums in a later video. Um, and it's also missing Behind the Wheel. But it's almost a complete set, including the, the introduction, um, which sounds a lot like Pimp F to me. Is it Pimp F? It's one of the instrumentals anyway. Uh, well, in my eyes, Halo, Shake the Disease, everything counts. Master and servant, never let me down. Waiting for the night, here in the house, sweetest perfection, clean, stripped, policy of truth, strange love, and then the encore, I think, uh, enjoy the silence, personal Jesus, question of time, and Route 66 for the American audience. Um, really nice uh, card packaging. It's got a bit, a bit of history um, and trivia inside, picture of the uh, Dodger Stadium, a nice gatefold uh, packaging. Tells you the band are like you need to know if you're buying this. Um, and this one, I don't know how many versions there are. This one's on red vinyl, so let me just show you what that looks like. It's a nice heavy, could be 180 gram probably, uh, vinyl set. There we go. And nice sort of, sort of stars and stripes, rose on it as well. So pretty cool. Um, this came out, in October uh, 2024, so it's actually a new, a new release available in all good record shops as we speak. 
yeah so that's it for this video i promise i will do a kind of deep dive into um, the black celebration album on vinyl i'm just waiting on one last delivery of a scandinavian version and then i'll uh, try and get my head around how to present it because i've i'm into double figures on uh black celebration it probably make the video too long talking of too long videos i'll, I'll stop here um, so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again next time cheers <laughs>